Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Artificer's Tower. We are picking up right where we left off at the end of the first look that I did for this game. So if you're like, what the heck is going on even? Go check out the first look. It, it, it brings you right up to this point. We've built a couple trap rooms down here. We have all of our basic fabric fabrication stuff going. We have a munitions workshop for ammo for our defense rooms. And we have our research room up here. So that's where we're at. What I would like to do today is to get ready for students to arrive. There goes the, the, the shopkeep. I think I was trying to build wands for that guy, but uh, didn't quite pan out. We do have Laurie Huff down here who is selling things. So if we go ahead and pause real quick. We can kind of see the stuff that we can make money off of. Right now, the, the bread and butter for our crew is cloth and metal, which is, honestly isn't great. I would rather be, like, working towards these food items or maybe even bandages. But we don't quite have the... the crafting necessary, unless we just finished the research for culinary, which I think was the last thing we had going on there. Yes, we have basic culinary done, which is great news. Let's go ahead and unpause. I think it's under crafting. Basic kitchen. So let's get our hands on this basic kitchen here. Missing ingredients. We need two metal and a heat rune. Okay. We can get two metal, I think. We need acid essence. Okay. Hold on. We can get there. Let's go ahead and craft. There's like ten of these. Five of these. Because we don't have enough water or stone. So go ahead and craft some, some of those. And then we will get our hands on some liquid essence as well. Maybe just like five. And then we will craft a heat rune. And then we, we need two metal. Oh, we have five metal already. Okay. Good, good, good. What would we like to research next? Magical traps, perhaps? We're under attack already? Hold on. Pause. Excuse me. This isn't what the, this isn't the peace treaty I signed. Well, let's pause real quick. I want to finish looking at. We got magic bolts, erratic shield. Requires erratic shield research. Training room, panic room, war chamber, munitions workshop. We have basic defenses already. Required for items summon troll shaman, bugbear shaman, or necromancer. Huh. Reaping, fabricating. We have all the basic stuff there. We have basic portals. We got basic learning. Basic medicine might be a good idea. Or maybe studying. Private study or extensive library. I'm not sure what, like, should come next. weapon maybe better weapons and robes let's go for simple weapons let's learn that all right everybody to your positions we have ogres incoming let's slow time down a little bit a balo allure oh he's an orc clubber and what's it what's your friend's name oh you got a dog severa you did your dog is dead the bolts are incoming. One, Another one died. You're toasted. Owned. Ha ha ha. All right. So the basic trap room uh, with the spikes and the arrows seems to be working pretty good for us. I think we should auto order a set of three crude spikes whenever we're down to one crude spike. Yes. And then the same thing with the arrows. Because if we run out of arrows, that's fine. We don't need to we don't need to craft the crossbow bolts yet. Only when we're down to to one crossbow bolt. Uh we would like do we have auto things set up for here? Just for liquid essence. Maybe we should have some acidic reagent as well. It's, it's always interesting trying to figure out, like, what your your levels should be for things at the in the auto order, anyway. I'm just kind of guessing at it right now. 
All right, you guys are dead. Can I like reap your, your bodies? That's kind of grim. Um, it would be great if I could, but I don't think I can. Let's see, I would love to get the hands on the kitchen now. Yes, kitchen is available. This is the weirdest tower ever. But I honestly like the idea of like stacking a few more defensive rooms um, backwards. Once uh, once those orcs start getting close to the shield room, it might be might be good to do that. We're still missing gre ingredients for the crossbow bolt. It requires teleport rune. Huh, I didn't realize the bolts required runes. Might as well get five of those if we can. Takes one stone. Are you guys fabricating stone? You should be. You did, great. Let's go ahead and do the five uh, teleport runes. Oops, there we go. But yeah, the plan is to kind of like back up things uh, further down. In fact, maybe we do that now. Just so we can like advance or ba re <laughs> we can we can build our, our rooms backwards essentially. So like if I build a dimension door, oh we need a door frame, which needs teleport room, which we haven't built yet. That's because everybody's asleep. Ooh, kitchen's made. Ooh, we can make soup and beer, which requires heat rune, which we just made. It's a lot going on in this game. Maybe like five. Since this is going to auto, going to be auto ordered into our food production. So it takes liquid essence and heat rune for each time I want to make a soup. Same thing with beer. What is more valuable, soup or beer? Uh, beer is 21 to 31. Soup is 26 to 39. So we should be making soup as our like sale item. And then advanced alchemy. Oh, interesting. So this is liquid essence and essence reagent. We don't have to mess around with runes there. Same thing with this is acidic essence and essence reagent and water. Which one's more valuable, B bananas or steak? Steak, okay. So this is gonna be our money making scheme is five soup on auto order, reorder at two, and craft. Next, same thing, this is our money making scheme, is we're gonna auto order soup and meat. We don't have the heat runes, but the, the heat runes should be in process soon. I would love to get a fourth wizard that could be our our cook. The other thing that I would like in this game, and I don't know if this is feasible right now or, or maybe we could do later, it'd be nice to be able to move rooms. Cause like, I would like to move this portal elsewhere. Cause I would like to extend the defenses below here. But I think the only way to do it right now is to sell these two and then rebuild them elsewhere which you know you can do it it's fine it's just a li I'd, I'd like it if you could just move it that'd be kind of nice but i'd like to get some small empty rooms here i'm just trying to see like if i build a room here i build a room there i build a room there and then i build a room there and then we're re ready to go with the portal at the back Uh, the dimension door, I should say, not the portal. The portal is a different room. We still haven't built that that door frame. Ben Wizardman is ready to be promoted. What are what what's your fancy, my man? Oh, we need to sell crap right now. Otherwise, we're gonna. <laughs> we had like the one time infusion of money, and uh, the game was like, "Don't ever do that again." And I'm like, "Sorry." Oh yes, we have meat. All right, sell all the meat. Sell. We don't have any soup yet. That's probably because we're waiting on heat or whatever. Sell. Probably 129. Okay, so that should, fine. If we can sell one batch of meat per day, we're, we're ready to rumble. We would also like to probably just sell some metal. 
And then why don't, why don't we go ahead and sell all the cloth I have? Just to like make sure we're set for like a couple days. All right, she's working on it. Great news. The other thing is, I would love for Ben. Oh, we didn't even upgrade Ben. Hold on, I got distracted because I was like, we're out of money. Okay, upgrade basic fabricing, basic combat, basic reaping. That sounds great. Combat, reaping, fabricing. Not a bad, a bad set of rules, <laughs> if I if I do say so myself. So we have Chelsea as our essence reaper, Ben as our enchanter, and then uh, Laurie as our seller. I would love to get a Laurie to be better at, at fabricing, or maybe even cooking? She's not good at cooking either. Laurie, what are you good at? <laughs> Other than selling. She's a great seller, honestly. I'm good with that. Did you, did you sell everything? You only sold part of it. Laurie, what the heck? That's your primary objective. Mage jobs. Oh, somebody pointed this out in the comments of my my first look. Thank you for pointing this out. This is your your typical like job priority thing, and we should I should have been looking for this like from the get go, but because this is kind of important. But this is what how we rank all of our our things. Oops. Uh, to, it tells your, your mages what job to focus on. Excuse me. When I right-click on this, it exits out of the menu. Ah, but if you hold shift, it goes up. Weird. Anyway, so primary job should always be fighting. Is that what number one means? Let's see. Click to lower priority and middle click to disable. Click to raise priority. Is 16 the highest or lowest? Click to lower priority. Okay, so highest priority is one. Gotcha. Then the second highest priority for Ben should be whatever Z is. W and Z should ben, be Ben's highest priorities. Oh, interesting. So you can only give people a one through 16. Ah, that's really kind of a neat way to set that up. But fighting should always be number one. Then Ben should be following with fabricing. Sorry for this, like, really boring, uh, basically administrative task here is to set up who's in charge of what. Teaching? Oh man, she's great. This should be her second priority here. Oh, dang it. I, I forget that right click is not the proper way of doing that. This should be two, three. Honestly, bartering should take priority over teaching. Administration we don't have yet, and leading? I don't know what leading does, but sure. We're gonna put you at five. This one's at six. And then training, make that seven, I suppose. And then everybody's red skill, I keep right clicking. Everybody's red skill should be there worst skill or the thing they do the least i should be uh, right uh, shift clicking here there we go and then ben you never barter you're terrible at it same thing with leading also teaching <laughs> which is not great at a school uh he's also not great at anything either which is a little dis disturbing but okay this is reaping. Is she the best at reaping? She sure is. So that should be her second priority. We got a two fabricator. Alchemy, we don't have a great wizard at other than me. So we'll leave that there. Research is Lori's job. Healing, admin. Maybe that should be my job too. Okay. I think we've set this up okay. I'll check the rest of it off camera. I don't want you guys to watch me make numbers go up and down for 20 minutes straight. I, that was like four minutes, <laughs> so that's enough as it is. Um, but I think that's fine. But, oh, Lori should have bartering be her like number one job if it's not. Okay, there we go, other than fighting. So research is her second job. There we go. 
Now I understand why she was uh, switching off of bartering. Just get me one more gold, Lori, and I'll be I'll be a happy man. There we go. No. Tower is under attack already. What the hell? You guys don't don't wait around. Who, who's coming at us now? Let's make sure we're ready. I think everybody's in the shields. Sure are. Okay, we got an orc and two little guys. And a wolf. Two wolves. You think the the little guys are more dangerous than a wolf or less dangerous? Alright, they've been they've been spiked. The wolves are down for the count. The orc clubber is dead. What did you get? You guys stole stuff from me. How did you get all my stuff? Did they Oh! I understand! The uh I totally forgot about this. Oh, that sucks too because they took all of my gold. Now I understand that we don't have any storage. Um, so we've just been storing our stuff. This is that, this is actually a huge misplay by me. So you, when you don't have any storage in the in the castle, all of your stuff gets stored in the foyer. So those goblins have just been running in and stealing my crap, which they must have done in the in the uh, in the uh, first look. Go ahead and promote. Chelsea? I understand. So that's my bad. So we need teleport rune and metal. They took a bunch of my metal, so no wonder. And they probably took a bunch of my uh, teleport rune as well. Honestly, let's get like 10 of you. There we go. First student, hell yeah! Should arrive at the foyer soon. If you're happy with the student, you can let them join by selecting the recruit button beside the fire button. Don't mix, don't mix those two up. Students are a great source of income, but be careful to recruit only a few and not unbalance the tower. You should build a classroom as soon as possible. Okay, so we have a barracks. We do need to get our hands on a student barracks, which requires cloth. Is that an auto order? It is not. Okay, so let's go ahead and auto, or not auto, but... Build, can we build 10 of you? We can only build f 9 of you. So let's do that. And then we need a classroom as well. Which I assume is under study. Which also takes fabric and teleport runes. So I'm glad I queued up like 10 of those or whatever I did. Alright. And then getting that, the, that storage going is going to be very crucial to be able to get our all of our resources out of the foyer because i totally forgot that from the base uh or from the game um information that they relayed to me earlier do we have you on acidic essence is on okay you look old for a student man oh he's got good intelligence though which is alchemy and scrying so maybe we could put him on alchemy i wonder if students can be the crafter or if they have to be an assistant not sure but, uh, medicine, reaping, not bad. Enchanting, advanced combat, basic munitions, and repairing. So he's bad at teaching and leadership and bartering, but we already have somebody for that. We don't need him for research and administration. I would like to have him be a better fabricer, because we don't have a fabric guy, but we could always get a different person for that. So let's go ahead and recruit Mr. Myron Roberts here. So he pays us 16 per day. That's good news, because we need the money. We can also go ahead and sell our five meat. And then sell our five soup, our money makers, for 259. That's fantastic. Do we also have gruel as an auto? buy we don't okay so we should build some of that otherwise people are going to starve it takes water maybe we set that at 10 oh we have an auto order of 20 when we're at five okay so somebody should be making water soon you've run out of soup no kidding Ben, are you gonna fabrica you're not Sale pending, hit sell. Oh, did I not hit sell? Sure didn't. There we go. Ah, he's making the water sick. All right, let's get the 
get the 20 gruel, otherwise people will starve and that's bad news for anybody. What were you good at again? I, alchemy. Okay, let's assign you as the assistant to the alchemy. Can I make you the crafter? Sure can. Sick. Get at it, student. <laughs> we're putting you to work right away. Awesome. All right, do we have the stuff for the storage? Storage is priority one, because if the goblins come again, they're just going to take all my stuff again. Oh, essential. We still don't have the teleport runes. Who's... Who's working in here? Benjamin? What did I set your enchanting at? It's nine. That's so low. We don't have a great enchanter. That could be Myron's other job, too. That you shouldn't be reaping. You should be alchemying and enchanting, number one. Teaching is not your top priority. That's a crazy thing to do for a student. <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? Yeah, this should definitely be his lowest priority because he's not good at it. And also we have other wizards that can do that. What are you bozos doing? They're like running in and out of that door for some reason. Okay, they're cooking. And he's assisting, I assume. How are we doing on essence? We have 250 out of 500. Got lots of gold, so that's good. But we we desperately need to be enchanting here so we can get those teleport runes. Ben, we're going to have to have a serious talk. You're, why is your enchant? I thought I changed this. This should be right below... Like, fabric? Yes. Enchanting? You're not good at it, but... Sure. Okay. That should be good. There he goes. Thank God. Oh, you're building the wrong one, though. <laughs> the, the heat rune is important, though. We're out of stone again. And he needs a place to sleep, too. We're, like, desperately after all of these basic resources. We could go ahead and push it to speed two though there we go now we're making stone now we're making water great still not enough teleport runes people are asleep myron doesn't have any place to oh he doesn't have a thing get him an get him an apprentice robe get him an apprentice staff my bad He doesn't have a place to sleep, though, so he's just going to stand there until he passes out, I suppose. I would love this teleport rune to kick off. Can I... I think part of the problem is the heat rune is taking priority... And I can't kick it above the heat rune. Because it's in progress? Did you already start this rune, my man? Here, he's doing the thing. There we go. We've got two teleporter. Yes, we've done it. How much can you store? This is an interesting question. Overflowing, not good. So we need to get another storage going. We need more stone, more metal, but we do have the teleport rune. Yes, basic storage. All right, the storage should be under control now. Thank God, we're ready to go. Money's doing fine. Got meat. One, two, three, four, five. And our soup. One, two, three, four, five. Whoop, overran it a little bit. We've run out of soup. I am well aware. They'll, they'll subsist on, on gruel. Don't you worry. All right, now we need to get the student barracks so Myron doesn't pass out on us. Right there. And then we'll throw the student classroom. Daily report, not a problem. And then the studies. The classroom needs stone and then more teleport routes. So let's go ahead and queue up. Five more of you. 
and then we'll we'll probably put the classroom like right there. The other thing is, do we have the we still didn't make that door frame. Or maybe we did and it got utilized by something else. So let's go ahead and cue that as well. Still not enough teleport room. Merchant has arrived. What what do you got? You got a dimension door. Fantastic. <laughs> We've got crude spikes. We we have plenty of those ourselves, and we could also buy portal rune. Oh no, that was selling, sorry. We could sell gruel. We have these ourselves. We could buy a bunch of stuff. Our money is actually doing well now. But I think I'll wait. I don't wanna like just start buying stuff and then run into money problems again. Our storage is doing good. Good, good, good. Gruel soup. Um, did we make... We did. Okay. So let's get the other dimension door. Takes wood, stone, essence, and a dimension door. Don't jump your classroom. That's what we're waiting on is the stone and the... Waiting on the stone and the... And the uh, teleport rune yeah I would love to get somebody who's good at cram or uh, kitchening so we can not have been dependent on that who are you Gerald Burgess oh you're a student great who which skill is good for cooking it doesn't say let's check the job the job thing. Cooking? Does that count as like alchemy? Basic reaping, fabricating, enchanting, alchemy, munitions, research, teaching, medicine, bartering, administration, leadership, scrying, combat training, repairing, and cleaning. What? Where does kitchen go? <laughs> View the glossary. What are you? What are you good at? What do you have to be good at to do to do ki kitchen work? I don't know. All right. Well, um, Gerald, you seem like a good student, actually. Pretty high stats, other than re uh, medicine, which we actually don't even have the room for yet, anyway. So let's go ahead and get Gerald. We've got. Yes, we've got the student barracks up here. We just need to get our hands on the classroom. So, Gerald, are you good at fabricating? I don't know. Because you're not listed as a mage, you're just listed as a student. It's kind of funny that you can assign students to the rooms. Oh, maybe you can't. Because we definitely assigned Myron. Somehow. and But he's not there anymore. So let's see. Myron and Gerald. Gerald is bad at reaping. It is doing a very weird thing where it's like over selecting. My controller's not even plugged in, so I don't know what was going on there. All right. No reaping for you. Good at fabricating. Good at enchanting. Probably not teaching as well. So this should be also low. And then this one should be pretty low as well. Okay, I like this. Fabricing, enchanting, alchemy, ammo. I mean, ammo should probably be the lowest versus research and, and teaching. You're missing a six. How did this happen? Oh, it's way the heck over there. <laughs> Actually, I would like you to be cleaning more than any of these other things. So let's go ahead and let you set that as three. Okay, cool. New guy. New guys cleaning up all the bodies. We've researched simple weapons. Let's go ahead and research simple armor. Uh, where was that? Ah, robes. Simple armor. Fantastic. And then is it under the enchanter? No, probably fabricer. Yes. Ah, here we go. So we need. An apprentice staff, which means we need training staffs, 
So let's go ahead and queue up five, because I would like to transfer everybody's stuff over to the new thing. Enchanted metal. Very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and queue that. And we might as well queue up the, the robes as well, because we'll get we'll unlock those too. I wonder what not cleaning up these bodies does. Like, does that give everybody a negative mood? <laughs> They're like, there's bodies everywhere. I still need the classroom. And we have even less stuff now. Man, oh man. We can't even assign them as a, an assistant. Is that a bug? Because we definitely could assign Myron earlier. But maybe you're not supposed to be able to as a student. I don't know. We need more... We need more fabric. Go ahead and queue that up. So fabric. We're still short on stone, but I think it's because our, we're above the threshold for reordering. So let's go ahead and reorder like 12 stone. And then we're short on teleport rune too. Did we use that in something? We must have. Yeah. Okay, let's queue up five teleport rune. And then we can finally build the classroom. And then our students will be happy. Hopefully. Happier. <laughs> I don't know if they'll actually be happy. Finally get this dimension door in. All the way back here. I think I'll leave this dimension door in. Although, does that negate, like, all of our defenses then? Perhaps it does. So maybe I'll leave it for now, but once we've moved this portal room and built out these last two empty building, empty rooms, not really needed anymore. What are we missing for the portal room? Oh, we're just missing a portal room. Can I deconstruct you? Does that give me stuff back? Yes, let's, let's test it. It does, fantastic. So let's just slap that down, maybe on top here, and then the classroom will go down underneath it. Yeah, we have our stuff. Fantastic. You built a classroom. An excellent choice. You'll find it hard difficult to balance teaching and working in the tower, but being a teacher has its benefits. Firstly, all pleasant in the class present in the cl classroom, teacher and students will gain experience much faster. The real key, though, is raising potential of your students. Potential is the skill cap that starts out out, a, out at 100 for all mages, but with students, you can raise this and create a better next generation. Cool. Well, who should be our primary teacher? Definitely not me. <laughs> oh, it's definitely Lori. Uh, Lori is a great teacher. She, Lori is so good at so many skills. She's like our ace in the hole. Dennis Romero can join the tower as a student. Sure, come on in, Dennis. You're pretty middling, but you're like a rock and speedy, so why not? And I like the extra money that comes from having students in the tower. Cool. All right, let's pause the episode there. If you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Artificer's Tower or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.